Today I'm going to cover some dreadlock basics. What is a Congo? That's a term you may have heard as you watch some videos or seen some stuff online, something people throw out there, but sometimes it's just not explained. So what is a Congo? A Congo is when two dreads combine and are still split. So I have one Congo. See so right here, so it's one fat dread, then it splits into two. So this used to be two separate dreads, the roots started combining, and it kept combining, and I've kept it at this point. So the way that works is just your dreads just start to combine. That just happens. And so you just got to keep them separated. So that oftentimes it's in the back because it's the places you don't see it the most. So if you're trying to prevent congos, what you got to do is just kind of go through every, every you know, a few days or so and just pull them apart. You'll hear the roots kind of rip apart. It's not, it's not bad or dangerous or anything, especially if you catch it early. Um, but you keep them separate. But if you want to let the congos happen, then you let it happen. Like this one I just didn't catch in time. And it started combining a little bit. And then, uh, then it kept, you know, if you don't do anything about it still, it will keep getting further. And so now at this point, I keep sep keep them separated like this. So if I just, you know, if I just kept them together and didn't touch it, it would become one big dread. But I like the Congo. I think it's cool. So I keep it separated like that. So to prevent Congos, keep ripping them apart. Keep them separated. And if you want them, um, I know some people, their dreads end up being thinner than they wanted them to be. So you can, like, you can, like, get them started by maybe putting a rubber band or something around to at the base or at the root and once it gets going get that rubber band off there you, you don't want it on there too long but you can force congos and make those happen if you want thicker dreads um, but you know I wouldn't want a whole head of congos but I think having one's pretty cool this is actually my favorite dread just because it is unique it's like people are so confused like if sometimes people just want to play with your hair they're just kind of confused by that can I touch it like yeah and they're searching through them and they, they're like what is that? Because <laughs> I mean, you know, to a normal person, it's like it looks like a giant split end. It's just weird, but I think it's pretty rad. So that's Congos. That's some dreadlock basics for you. So hope you guys have a good day.